Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video update, recording this on Sunday, September 1st. Hope everybody's having a good holiday, Labor Day weekend. Quick look at the markets and then we'll jump into my trades for the week. Starting with the S&P, looking at SPX, we are now about 20 points below all-time highs. Uh, pretty choppy over the last couple of weeks, just kind of putting in a little bit of a consolidation range, but... Big push on Friday to get to the top of that range. You can see I marked the expected move on January 1st for the year. Was it about 55.33-ish? We pushed through that earlier in the year, crashed back below it, came up and retested it, went lower, and now we are back up above it, uh, looking like it's up, up, and away uh, to some new all-time highs, but we will see. Uh, NASDAQ, uh, not as strong as the S&P, got back about half of what it lost, but not as close to all-time highs. Russell almost back up to its recent highs, and the Dow back to new all-time highs on Thursday. It ticked a new all-time high and a new all-time closing high on Friday. So stocks continuing to show that strength. Gold sideways just below its all-time highs. Silver little choppy sideways as well. Notes and bonds lower, 10-year yield pushing up and settling in at 3.899. Oil, uh, a little bit back and forth. Natty gas, a little bit of a bump this week to the upside. Soybeans up, corn up, wheat up for the week. Euro and the pound, uh, a little bit weaker against the U.S. dollar, showing a little bit of strength. And Bitcoin settling in, or the futures at least, settling in at 59275 a little bit lower for the week. VIX closed right on the nose of 15, uh, back down into its uh, range that it, that it was in before the big spike up to 65 uh, and massive contraction. So volatility back down and compressed. Uh, all right, so let's jump into my trades for the week, starting with zero DTE. I uh, just did one AM iron condor uh, that I didn't transform, and that ended up being a loser, minus 3,300 on that one. Uh, my BIC trades, my British iron condor has been doing a lot of testing. Actually, about a scratch. Uh, these, this will be, when, when these settle, it'll be about minus 1,200, so it'll actually be about a scratch um, for the week. So I'm starting, um, on Monday for the first starting, uh, fresh for September, uh, a new account where I'll just be trading these. And, um, I talked a little bit in my trade plan update for September. So if you haven't looked at that, check that out about exactly how I'll be trading those. So look forward to looking forward to that. It's kind of, for those of you not familiar, it's a kind of a tranching methodology and using a ratio and managing each side separately, but the put and the uh, put vertical and the call side separately. So looking forward to some clean data on that going forward. Uh, no FOMC this week, no WUGAs, pre-market. The other thing I've been kind of testing, um, I've been, uh, because I've got an IB account that I'm that I'm working in now. I've been testing some pre-market iron condors. I did a few of those. Two were winners. One was a loser. Uh, but I'm going to continue testing those. Uh, my price action trades were down a little bit for the week. Yeah, down 3,900. Um, this one should have actually been a couple thousand dollar winner. So that's a, about a four thousand dollar swing, which was my was my P and L. Um, but is what it is. Um, so down a little bit, had a little bit of a couple of uh, full stops on the 28th and 29th that put me under the water uh, in the red for the week. Uh, let's see, Ricks. My Ricks have been doing good. A few of those. A couple of these I closed out early because of the structure that was set up. So just booked a couple of small winners. And then on Friday, hit a 35% and 45% profit target. Um, to, to, uh, book about 1300 on those for the week. Uh, let's see any, I think I had one, one DTE and one, two DTE. I had, uh, 
Yeah, one one DTE and two two DTEs. All three of those were losers. And then that is it for zero DTE. So let's go to day trade. So I've been doing a lot more individual stock day trades using just uh, puts and calls directional, just purely based on price action and volume. Uh, those have been doing really well. Booked a little over 8,400 on the week on 30 trades. It's about a 63% win rate. Um, I'd like to get my win rate up a little bit more, but I've, but really the key with these is, is cutting the loser short, which is, which I have been doing. You know, I think the biggest loser I had was like 550, 560, where I'm having some winners that are plus 1300, plus 1700. Oh, there's a 960 loser, um, plus 1400, plus 1900. So those are just, those are going really well. So I'm going to continue focusing on that. Typically Chad runs our day trading live stream in the, in the mornings at the open. So these are, most of these trades are done within the first hour. Uh, I will be I will be leading the live stream next month, um, a couple of days, uh, just to show you some some of the new things that I'm looking at related to price action for trading these. So look forward to that. Um, let's see, next one would be no no butterflies this week calendars. So my dynamic calendars have just been on fire. Uh, closing out the week with 12 more trades, all winners. Uh, these double calendars have just been absolutely on fire. In fact, if we just look at the month of August, I had 35 trades and no losers. I had zero losing double calendar trades for the month of August, which I don't remember quite a run like that where I went a full month without one losing trade, but They've been absolutely just crushing it. So uh, we'll see if that continues. With the long holiday weekend, I don't trade them going into long holiday weekends like this. So I did not put any trades on on Friday. So I've got a clean slate uh, going into next week. Uh, option selling. A couple of trades. Oops, that's for the full month of August. Let's go back to this week. So I had a, uh, just a couple partial closes. This was a short strangle, which I adjusted with a uh, vertical risk reversal. So I closed out the strangle, booked a little over 1,100, still have the bullish portion of that on, anticipating another push through all-time highs. So that one's still open. And then this one, I closed three of nine uh, contracts. So I've booked some profits there, but that one's still open as well. And then lastly, no portfolio margin, but my transformers, uh, a little bit red for the week. In fact, that does not count uh, a minus 2,800 and a minus 650 on the Mahomes. Those have not settled yet. And actually this one uh, plus 886. So it'll end up being about minus 3,000 for the week on those. So a little bit red on transformers. So that is it for the week. Hope everybody has a good rest of your weekend. Stay safe. Talk to you soon.